as you've seen on the on the program tonight, our first speaker will be uh, Christian uit uh, Uithoven. He graduated from Technical University actually back in 2011, but during his master's, he was already bus uh, busy with his company. Now, eight years later, he's actually founder of DO Agency and one of his projects, Super Eaters. He's going to tell us more uh, about, and DO A Agency is a digital behavior change agency. But uh, Christian is going to tell you all about uh, one of his projects at DO Agency. So, come up the stage. I need to change my slides is in a different oh, sorry. thing right uh, that's, that's true. Sorry. That's true. <coughs> thank you for the lovely introduction by the way um, thank you uh, this is work. we didn't start yet right no <laughs> okay uh, so today I will talk a little bit about the beginning of uh, a project that um, uh, I started three years ago, which is called Super Eaters. Um, you already introduced my background, so I won't take it uh, very long. Uh, basically, we're a service design agency. We do a lot of research and concept development, uh, which ends up in uh, behavior change uh, projects, uh, mainly in the digital field, but it doesn't have to do only uh, about the digital era. Um, in 2000, actually 10, not 11, um, I started the Interaction Ontwerpers, um, and we, I did a lot of communication and design and, and user interface design. Uh, I made a, an, an awful amount of money with it, but it made me very, very sad. Um, so in 2013, I uh, wanted to uh, uh, quit for a while, so I did a, a little um, a time off in uh, Mexico to understand where my personal values and my, my drive was. So in, in Mexico, um, uh, I discovered that uh, uh, me as a designer should have a certain impact in society. And not long ago, a lot of people thought the same. But in 2013, this was really my, my drive, my personal thing that I, I, I wanted to change something within the field of, of uh, my design uh, agency. Um, I will talk about it uh, in, in, in a while. Uh, Mexico also had a lot of personal changes for me. Um, I discovered a, uh, a drive for sports, uh, but also a drive for nutrition. Um, I wasn't able to run for 2.5K, and, and uh, now I, I, I ended up in doing triathlons. Um, the point is, with the triathlons, I also discovered a, um, uh, that nutrition was a very important thing for me. Um, so nutrition and sports is, is a, um, a variable which is actually coming back in everything that we do within the design agency. Uh, starting with, uh, hi Eric, Eric was my Hello. old colleague <laughs> for, 20, for Fiji24. Uh, so Fiji24 was actually a startup uh, that I started and it was an application to uh, help people in recovering from an injury, and actually a running injury. Um, but we also did a lot of uh, subsidized projects uh, to support elderly in becoming older uh, by taking uh, care of their oral nutrition or their oral health care, I'm sorry, and uh, also preventing them for, uh, uh, for the risk of falling by supporting them in, uh, in doing exercises. Uh, and more recently, um, we um, started Super Eaters, and Super Eaters is uh, something that I wanted to talk about today. As you can see, everything has got to do with my personal drive, which is a very important factor for everything that we do at the moment. Um, so I will also end up with that. So keep that in mind. Um, <coughs> Super Eaters is actually an, um, a platform, or it ends up in an application, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's supposed to be a platform in order to support children and their families in uh, starting to eat better. Um, and um, it has everything to do with the fact that uh, one out of five children in, in Rotterdam, but also in, in, the, in the Netherlands or worldwide, is, uh, is obese, uh, which is a very huge problem if uh, we continue uh, eating, eating, in this case, uh, in, in five years from now. Um, so it started with a, with a graduation project with, from one of my colleagues. Uh, so uh, as uh, in any user experience project, we do a lot of uh, observation research, we talk with people, we make, uh, we try to understand what's going on. Uh, as you can see, we also did a lot of uh, experimental design uh, and eventually it ended up with a, a concept which was called Weekly Dinner. Uh, that was the first stage, that was three years ago. Um, it continued in something which is called nowadays Super Eaters, 
And SuperEaters is actually a, um, uh, um, an application at the moment which combines a, a couple of uh, concepts together. So we try to uh, make people aware, make children and their parents aware of uh, a healthy behavior uh, by providing them the knowledge in combination with assignments and uh, in, a, in a fun matter. Um, it's not so much about what we offer, it's more about how we came there. So I will just run through this very, very quickly. Uh, Super Eaters is just a, um, uh, we try to uh, provide people with healthy themes, such as food. Uh, in, um, we are also busy with, uh, with movement and sleeping exercises. Uh, by, by telling them what to do, so they can, uh, based on what we, what we tell them, uh, they have got to do a couple of uh, contextual assignments uh, because we believe in, in learning by doing. Um, of course, by doing those exercises, you can earn a couple of points to make it fun. But one of the most crucial parts is actually that their parents also play part of this. Um, so based on what children uh, achieve, they can have points and they can uh, start making dinner with their, with their parents. Um, in December, we, uh, we wrapped up uh, a pilot case with 30 families, uh, and we got a lot of interesting findings. Uh, and one of the most funniest is actually that children are very creative in doing exercises and challenges. So we, we offered them something like ma make a picture of a, um, of a vegetable, uh, which is orange, and um, it ended up people, uh, children actually making drawings and making a picture out of it or going to Instagram, copying a picture and uploading it in the app. So they're, they're very creative, so that, that offers us a lot of new challenges. Um, but this is only about the product itself. So we try to embrace a, um, a social, social problem and try to make something for it. Uh, so as a designer, we think like eventually you make something which is actually a cool product, which hits, a, hits the spot, uh, and people are actually like enthusiastic about it. Um, but at the end, uh, that's all lovely, but uh, if you want to make sustainable something, you need to have paying customers. <coughs> um, so all those ideas of, uh, that I started with, with, with my first startup, Fusio 24, um, I tried to embrace it in, in uh, this social impact project, Super Eaters. Um, so we learned a lot, and we also had to pivot a lot. Um, so it started with weekly dinner, but after three years, it's called Super Eaters. But now we embrace moving exercises and sleeping behavior. So maybe super eaters is not even good anymore. Um, this also means that you need to have a, like in, in Dutch we say, lange adem. So it, it takes a while. Uh, and especially for a small agency as ours, it's uh, really something that, uh, that hits us uh, every now and then. So one of the most important things actually uh, for starting something like this is keeping in mind that the product itself is not only uh, the, the most important thing. Actually, it's, it's not so important at all. It's about um, which pain are we trying to solve and who is the one who has the biggest pain. We thought it were the children and their parents because uh, children with, uh, who are obese, they, they will end up having a lot of diseases. Uh, but these, these, this, these children, they don't care at the moment. They care after 20 years or maybe 30 years. Uh, so we thought maybe municipalities or governmental organizations were the ones who are willing to pay for this. Um, and of course, they try to motivate other companies to make something for society, but they are not willing to pay for it, maybe only in subsidized form uh, by doing research, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but this is really a huge challenge, especially for a small company like ours. So what we did actually is uh, uh, we developed a couple of concepts uh, being part of a graduation project. Um, that's also the reason why it took a little, a little bit longer. Um, but last year, uh, one of my colleagues was full time busy with trying to contact uh, people, calling them, doing pitches together, um, and which ended up in uh, a huge list. It was even bigger than this one. The Excel sheet, you don't have to read it, but it's like hundreds of people that we contacted and gave them pitches. Uh, yet, uh, no one was willing to pay. Um, we even went into the news, as you can see, there's a, it's a well, it's actually there's a camera, and there was a documentary be uh, behind it. So we thought, like, what are we doing wrong? We, we hit a sensitive s uh, spot. It's really something which is in the news nowadays, but apparently we do something wrong. Um, so that's also one of the, 
the the biggest learnings actually that I wanted to um, uh, to tell you now, uh, even though that you can have a very nice product which apparently uh, is supposed to help people, um, it takes a while, um, and only if it's a personal uh, value for yourself, only if you really 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 want to make something cool out of it, then I believe that you can actually make something out of it. But even even though I I think uh, with a sport background and uh, the fact that I think that nutrition is very important, even I'm not uh, not so sure how we should continue and if we would, if we should even continue because I uh, this is something very uh, why did, did it finish yeah, all of a sudden? Okay, so it's but it's not supposed to. Okay, uh, but the point is um, uh, having a social impact platform or uh, an initiative like this uh, is isn't something that you can just do like that. It takes uh, a long time. Um, it's good to be aware of the fact that uh, you cannot do it yourself. You should be able to share. You should do it together. That's a very big learning from my side. But also, for mainly for designers and creatives, um, uh, keep in mind that having a product is not, the, is not sufficient. You should combine sales, marketing, the product itself uh, as a whole, and you should iterate and iterate and iterate. Um, yeah, and down the line, just start and discover. You don't know what it ends up, up with. Uh, as long as you are uh, happy with it, I think uh, uh, that you can finish having something uh, nice and learn from it. Um, well, that's actually the story that I wanted to tell you about, about Super Eater. So not so much about the product itself, but more about uh, where it started from and uh, uh, why I think um, social impact projects they take a while and it also means that you should be able to work for it and work on it. Um, so that was the main essence of my presentation. I believe there were questions now, right? <laughs>